We're gonna go through the different delivery systems of Narcan, Naloxone also known as Narcan. Um, this is initially what we started with in mass. Um, this is uh, intramuscular Narcan. You draw it up with a syringe and it's a one shot. Pull the cap off the needle, the cap off the plunger, put it in. and draw back. Narcan is not to be used as punishment. You really don't need a lot. The body's only gonna grab what it needs. Even if you have 10 of these, uh, it's not gonna do anything faster or quicker. It's gonna take the amount of time that the body needs for it to reverse the effects of the overdose. The next demonstration is gonna be the, this one is the nasal um, delivery system and it comes in a box like this. The only thing you're gonna see different is this piece. This piece converts the liquid Narcan into, uh, it's called the atomizer, it converts the liquid Narcan into a mist. In the mist, all it is is small droplets of water. So you're gonna put that aside. Um, there's two pieces together. One is glass, which would be where the Narcan or Naloxone is, is, and this delivery system, which is made out of plastic, the two bright yellow pieces, you're gonna pop them off. They're easy to identify. And then what you're gonna do is grab and pop off the uh, purple cap. Usually it's purple or red, it's all the same. If you can see, there's a rubber stopper holding that Narcan back. And the delivery system has, a, you probably can't see it from there, but there's a small needle there. The needle has to puncture the rubber in order to access the Narcan. So what you're gonna do is put it in and twist it a little bit. Um, if you don't twist it, it's just gonna pop out. And that's, if you lose it, it's glass. If it hits the ground, it's liable to crack, and if it cracks, then you pr you lost a dose. So just put it in, twist it lightly, grab the atomizer, and on the smaller end, you're going to put it in and just twist it also. Once you twist it, you're ready to administer. The foam piece will only allow it to, zo to go so far in the nasal passage, so it's not going to cause any damage. What you're going to do is do it slowly because you can uh, have control over how much comes out of it. It's preferable if you spray half or as, as what you think is half on one nostril and the rest on the other in the other nostril. As you can see, it comes out as a mist. It's easy to control. So that's the nasal delivery system. This has uh, two milligrams of uh, naloxone or Narcan. I failed to mention there is an expiration date at the end. Always look for the expiration date on any delivery system. Um, make sure that it's not expired. If it is, go to your nearest place that gives out Narcan or your pharmacy and uh, they'll exchange it with no problems. The latest one we have is a one shot. Um, so what you're gonna do is peel back the foil piece on the other side. Do not try to grab it because the Narcan is located in this small blue vial. If you grab it by the vial, it's gonna, it's go, you're gonna lose that dose. So easily just pop it in your hand, twist it over. You're gonna grab it by the corner of the plastic. When you get near the nasal area, you're gonna press and it's gonna deliver a one dose, that's it. Then wait until to see how the individual is doing and how he's responding to the naloxone or the Narcan. Um, usually they come in kits of two doses.
This dose is four milligrams. Again, um, it's not used as a tool for punishment. And I say that is because the minute you administer it, a person, depending on the uh, the level of addiction that they have, uh, is going to suffer the severe withdrawal, depending on how severe their addiction is. So uh, please be careful and compassionate. The final one is Evzio. Um, this delivery system is very expensive. What you're going to do is pull the device up. If you are ready to use, pull off red safety guard. So if you're going to use it, you're going to pull this out. If you are ready to use, um, pull off red safety guard. I'm not going to take it all the way off, but... Just as you can see what it's, it, how it, how it looks in the delivery system, um, the, I think the, the critique on this one is number one is very very expensive, so unless you have very good insurance um, or money that you can afford it, um, it's a one shot deal. You can't you it's, you can't use it over and over, and. It gives a false impression that you can Narcan yourself. Anyone that's suffering from an opiate overdose cannot Narcan themselves. They need someone around them. So it's critical that people understand when you're going to use, do not use alone. Or if, if you're going to use, make sure there's an area where a lot of people walking through, a lot of tra uh, traffic. This dose is four milligrams. It's uh, intramuscular, so you can use it in your thigh. Um, you don't have to take any clothing off. You can use it in the shoulder or in the butt. Uh, yeah, the butt, um, the meaty part. <laughs> Narcan is effective for an opiate overdose. Again, um, just don't overdo it. You want the person to come out of their overdose, but not to suffer.